This is local high school basketball on WCIA3. Now, all the action and excitement of Full Court Friday. Full Court Friday is on. Andy Olson and Brett Barron's with you to wrap up our final January show with 14 games on tap. As always, scores rolling at the bottom of the screen. It's a baker's dozen plus one, so plus that you one. get an extra one in there, which is always... It's a, it's a great deal. Good. And as we get ready to turn the calendar to February, can't help but think about March, Andy. That means postseason play right around the corner. Girls regionals three weeks away. One month from right now, it's going to be regional final Friday. That's one of my favorite Fridays crazy. of the entire year. A lot on the line for so many teams coming up here in the next month. All right, let's get it started tonight. One team who plays who plans on hoisting that plaque. Mount Zion, the Braves put their 21 record to the test tonight at Muhammad Seymour. Mount Zion sophomore J.C. Anderson ready to roll after getting an Illinois football offer yesterday. And he puts the Braves up 10 early on here. How about that nice pass and finish 22-12. Mount Zion. Bulldogs trying to respond and they do. That is a pretty up and under play. Miles Woolsey. 22-14 at that point. Then the three looking good. Tucker Burris. Mount Zion feeling it. They are in control. The answer here from Lucas Dyer for three there, but this one belongs to the Braves. 73 to 46, 21 and one now on the season. Mount Zion looking at very, very good. Big 12 play has Centennial making the long trip west to Peoria to face a very solid Richwoods team. Todd McAboo getting his team going early. That is inside off glass, pure and the foul there. Three-point play. Dennis McAboo driving. He misses the shot. O'Neal Johnson follows it up there. And then Johnson freed up on the baseline. That is pure. He hits the three, but Chargers fall 62-48 the final from that one. Dando looks to make it three straight wins. The Vikings play host to Peoria Manuel in this one. Javon Robinson able to come up with the offensive rebound, but almost immediately trapped looking for a way out. Finally finds an outlet to Jerry Reed, then to Darius J. He finishes at the rim for the team bucket as the Vikings are out going quick. Now more fast break. Robinson up to Devon Larkin bucket and the foul on the hard fall from him. Robinson doing some more dishing now. CL die in the corner. Splash. 70-47. Emmanuel goes into the Vikings house and gets the road win. Meanwhile, Central clashes with Bloomington. That in Champaign. The Raiders winless this season. Not going well for them. We start with Landon Robinson ending the second quarter with this three as the Maroons taking a 15-point lead into the half. Now, coming out of the locker room, Axel Baldwin, three-pointer from the wing. Crowd behind him loves it. The Maroons all over the Purple Raiders. Oh. This one, and now the alley-oop to Torian Roan. That was to Chris Bush putting it in the hoop. Roots get the big win in this one, 72-34. Wow, that's a play of the night. Maybe uh, one of the best plays of the year we've seen so far. To the Illini Prairie Conference, where we've got a battle of unbeaten teams in league play with St. Joseph Ogden, making the trek to Monticello. And we've got Pyrotechnics. Haven't seen that in a high school game, but it's the Spartans with the early fire. Illinois baseball signee Luke Landris scores the first seven points of the game for SJO. Trey Welter on the other end, getting the Sages going with this shot put too. He, he just fired that up, little flick. Then we've got some flow, Andy, and I love some flow. Tyler Blythe on the baseline, shot is pure. The locks are even better, look at that. I am jealous, would love to have that kind of hair. Nearly guaranteed airtime if you do that. And then close game, but SJO too strong. More from Landris, 42-39. Sports pick up the road dub. Unity also perfect in IPC play so far. The Rockets roll out the welcome. That's for Prairie Central. And the Hawks putting up quite the fight. Tyler Curl, top of the key, drains it. 34-33 in the third. Some toughness from the Rockets off the miss. Eric Meeback with a man-sized rebound put back in a back and forth second half. PC out and running. Talon Steininger finishes at the rim. But an aggressive take here from the Rockets. 
powers them ahead. Henry Thomas and one there. 60-56, Unity, the home win. Our final IPC stop features St. Thomas More in Bloomington Central Catholic. One of these teams, Brett, going to get their first conference win. It's one of those someone has to get the W. The momentum starting with STM early. Good defense. Reed Craddock able to take advantage of the early turnover as he gets the bucket. Now a couple plays later, the guard Wilson Kirby with some moves down low. Able to get STM's lead out to even more. Second quarter now, Cole Kemper back in his way through the lane. Throws it off the glass as well for two. But the Saints come back second half, win this one, 49-35. to All right, Brett, seven games down, still seven more to go. Plus, we check in with Illinois basketball ahead of tomorrow's game against Indiana. The more high school lights ahead. First, including stops in Vermco, Hello, and Gibson City. Plus, it's title night, the Lincoln Prairie Conference Tourney and Arthur. All that and more next as Full Court Friday rolls on.